Can you not take care of national hero from Philippines? Yeah, because she had here. Helena is bodyguard um, of Jose. Guys, if you will be in Heidelberg, you should find this place and go visit Jose Rizal. And you drive so long, especially for Five hours. especially for for this. Yes. <gasps> Visiting my daughter too. Wow. You love singing. Yeah. I love singing as well. <laughs> I sing Filipino songs. Yes. Wow. Which one is your favorite? <laughs> Good morning, my dear friends. Today I'm in a very, very, very special city together with my friend Anne. Anna. Good morning. We've stayed in hotel today together and uh, we are in that city where he used to live before, where lived Jose Rizal many years ago. Yeah, I wanted to come here for a long, long time already, but it was very cold, so I decided when, when it will be a little bit warmer, I come here to her and we go together there. So this day came and today we go, we go on the steps by Jose Rizal uh, where he lived and I really wanted to come here for a long long time but it was very cold so today they promised us 20 degrees <laughs> so we going in Jose Rizal park right now so Jose Rizal is a national hero of the Philippines and he arrived here in Germany in Heidelberg on February 3, 1883. So today I show you a little bit of the city and a park with him. I'm very excited to go there together with you guys. That's the view from our window. Look how many how many bi how many bicycles there you see? That's our hotel where we stayed. You know, yesterday they promised me that <laughs> they weather forecast that there will be 23 degrees, but it's only 15 now and it's very cold. So, and I'm, I'm wearing not really warm today, so I came to the shop and <laughs> I need to buy some what will warm me. <laughs> First of all, we have breakfast and then we go. That will be our breakfast. Anya has coffee. And I have... Yeah, really cold. <laughs> and I have tea. <laughs> we finished our breakfast and we are on the road. 17 minutes left till we see Rizal Park. Woo! And, and are you excited? <laughs> yes, of course. Guys, we're finally here. We arrived. Actually, I imagined absolutely differently this park. But look. D 
diese Gedenkstätte erinnert an den philippinischen Nationalhelden José Rizal. That's a monumental statue of José Rizal, the national hero of the Philippines in Germany. I really admire this man for his strong spirit, love for his nation, and how the happiness of his Kababayan was more important for him than his own safety. If José Rizal had stayed in Germany, he probably wouldn't have been executed. He was executed because of his works, which was interpreted as encouraging people to fight against Spanish authority and power. In Europe, he was safer from Spanish authorities, and I'm sure he knew what fate is waiting for him in the Philippines. However, Rizal chose to go back in the Philippines anyway, even though it was dangerous for him. His words was, my biggest wish is the happiness of my country. He wanted to help fight for changes and independence in his country. His return and subsequent execution really galvanized the people of the Philippines to stand up against Spanish authority in the Philippines. This played a significant role in the Philippines' fight for independence. So, and what do you think about this place? I, um, I find it very pretty. Nice park here. Yeah? Nice park. Just a pity that the, this tree is still not green. And the panoram, panoram uh, is very beautiful. I really never felt something like that, what I'm feeling now, when I've been near a statue of any... I feel like I feel his energy. He was so... like, powerful person, I guess, with such nice personality and very, very, very strong. And I don't know. I feel like I, like I knew him, you know? Maybe really, if there's past lives, I was Filipino there and I knew him. <laughs> No, actually, I don't believe in past lives, but but I don't know why I feel such a connection with uh, with Philippines, Filipinos, and I don't know. Yes, connection. Why and why? Tell me. I cannot explain. That is magic. <laughs> that is... Can I take care of national um, health? Hero. Hero from Philippines. Yeah, because she had here. Helena is bodyguard yeah. of Jose. I feel his energy through through his statue. It's, it's incredible. Guys, if you will be in Heidelberg, you should find this place and go visit Jose Rizal. So, and these are friends of Rizal. There was Germans, also doctors and some professors. That's a pastor, that's a professor. It's so interesting that it's Germany and full body memorial is from Filipino guy and Germans are only heads. <laughs> Guys, you can't imagine who I met here right now near this uh, in Rizal Park. <laughs> it's a very, very, very beautiful family. Hi. <laughs> Hi. What's your name? I'm Linda. Come from Davao City. Guys, can you imagine? Can you imagine? They're also from Davao, <laughs> and they know some island where I used to live. <laughs> and uh, she lived here 28 years, and it's first time. First time yeah. she came here to see Rizal. And and where do you live here in Germany? 
in Paderborn in North Rhine-Westfalen. And you drive so long, especially for Five hours. especially for for this? Yes. <gasps> this is my daughter too. Wow. She's studying medicine. So. Guys, look how how beautiful <laughs> girls are. They're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been in the Philippines as well? Yes, several times. First you, time was you like Paris. Philippines? Yes, very much. So what's your favorite food? <laughs> favorite food? Oh, difficult to say. There are so many good things to eat. Uh, variety. I, I think I like everything. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they also asked me first, what's your favorite food? I said, I guess, I guess it's tenola. <laughs> <laughs> but just a, a lot of things that I like. I really, a yeah. lot, a lot. I like... Um, Lumpia. Yes, I like them. That I like uh, what else I like? Sweets. Biko, Suman, Puto, Puto. <laughs> Everything so nice there. I was very happy to see them. Actually, actually, I oh, yeah, I nice. didn't dare to talk to them, and I wanted so much. And my friend Anne, she, <laughs> she came to them and told that I want to speak to them. But they're very nice. I that was that was very bad for me that I was so shy. <laughs> You know, in the Philippines, I'm not so shy anymore because I know that people are always uh, loving and uh, so yeah, yeah. Supporting. 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 But here, if I'm in Germany, I I know people don't usually want to talk to me. <laughs> They're like, yeah. "That's my space. That's your space. We uh, that's right. go." <laughs> that's true. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Do you like live in Germany? Uh, in the long run, yes. Because it's cold. And I you like eat. cold? It's, yes. <laughs> it's a little bit cold and I love it. <laughs> I, I want to run away from this cold and someone like cold. He loves to go back for retirement in the Philippines, especially in Davao. Yeah. And the two of them to come one. <laughs> yeah. so how, how, how many times have you been in the Philippines? Ten times? Five? No, no, no. Five. Five, five times. seven. Five, five. Yeah, five, five times. We try to get to the Philippines every five years. Mm, and you want to move there to live? For me, not. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe. <laughs> maybe if I get the chance to, because it's also in combination with my work. So I finish my studies now, and then maybe I'll go work in the Philippines. And how old are you? I'm 21. Oh, and you? She I'm loves 26. singing. She loves singing bucket pan. You love singing? Yeah. I love singing as well. <laughs> I sing Filipino songs. Yes. Wow. Which one is your favorite? <laughs> I, I love a lot of them. I think my favorite one, because my Lola loved that one, is... Um, By Jessa Saragossa? Oh, ba uh, Bucket, Bucket Papa, Papa Jessa. Jessa Saragossa. I love that one too. But my grandma loved um, Rosa Spandan for... Uh, who sang it? Uh, Pilita Corrales. Pilita Corrales. Can I you sing it. something for us? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Ani asi rosa spandan gikan pain tahun sakai nabi so sino ngaking tatawagi sino ngaking hanapi sino ang magpupuno sa kilmaglalambi bakit ka pa nakita bakit pa nakilala ko ng puso ko Wow, thank you so much! <laughs> so beautiful! And you know Son Muli? Oh, no, mm, which so, there's only like three songs that I know by memory. Kung Sakali, you know Kung Sakali? By uh, Mikhail Panginilan? No, Sing it for me. <laughs> 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 and, and you and you speak, you understand Tagalog? Oi. Yes, I know. 
So it's, it's so, really, I, I love to sing it, I love the language, but I didn't learn it. When uh, growing up, I learned German and English. I'm trying to catch up on it. <laughs> I'm learning, but for me it's so hard, for me so hard. I know like maybe four or three songs by memory, and I'm trying to always to uh, translate and learn words, but I guess, and when I move there, I go to course and then I learn better because by myself it's very hard. Yeah, because you don't have anyone here to speak to. So you're just listening and maybe you try to speak, but there is no one to talk to. I'm so happy to meet you girls! <laughs> <laughs> My name is Yelena, and soon you can see vlog together with you. Where you see it? <laughs> okay, guys, we are very, very happy <laughs> to meet here near near national hero of the Philippines. <laughs> okay, bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Okay, we arrived to the main popular place here in Heidelberg. It's the Heidelberg Castle. <laughs> How old is this castle, you know? I don't know. I would say 18... Uh, 18... 18... 1880. Yeah, but look, it's so powerful. So big, and then the city Heidelberg. <laughs> so Jose Rizal been here, been here four months in Heidelberg as a guest. So I'm pretty sure he walked this road as well where we are right now. <laughs> So and finally we came to the place where you can see the city and the castle all together. So beautiful and you look in you live in such a beautiful city. in Germany is everywhere people smoke and here as well you just, you just feel the feel the smell of smoking wherever I go even there is uh, even those who have children they also smoke near them crazy <laughs> this uh, Filipino German couple and family they Told they probably also go here in, in the in the castle. So maybe we also somewhere here we'll meet them. <laughs> but what did you guys look so pretty? <laughs> Just a pity that today is uh, you can see the the sky, blue sky, so many clouds and cold. Really, guys, I came here because because I saw the weather, 23 degrees, I, I, I thought, oh, I go in the summer. And in reality, today is 13, 14 degrees, so cold. But we met this family and I'm so happy to, to meet them. And they, even when they stayed in the Philippines, they stayed also in Kaputian, in, um, in Kembali Resort, if you know that. So it's near, really near place where, where I used to live. So cool. Just a jackpot <laughs> to meet them. 